I just sat down to edit this video and it is super gory, like like really gory. There's like blood everywhere and broken bones and I had to blur it out. I'm really sorry, but I gotta keep this being a family friendly channel. I know some of you guys love that stuff, but I couldn't show it. So sorry and I hope you like the video. Welcome to Vet Ranch, I'm Dr. Matt, and this little girl is named Danny. She is a probably around 10 month old pup, and her issue is she has a big swelling here and she's not putting any weight on this leg. Um, she was at a shelter, she was scheduled to be euthanized, but we took her in and we are going to try to get to the bottom of whatever is wrong with that leg, but I would guess, just by looking at it, that she has a fractured femur. So we're going to go ahead and snap an x-ray of that real quick and uh, try to get a better look. And it doesn't take a genius to see that that should be connected to that. That's her femur broken in half. There's another view of it coming from her hip going up here and then this one's going down to her knee. For having a broken leg, this little puppy is pretty happy. Yeah, you're a good dog. She's having surgery today. We're actually having a, another surgeon come do it because I think it needs a plate and I am, we don't have the plates or the, uh, the tools or I don't even have the know-how yet to really put bone plates on. So we're gonna have a surgeon come in, plate her leg. I know, I know. And you might even be happier when you're done. Here's all the callus and scar tissue that's created around the bone trying to scar in on its own. So we have to break all that down in order to get back to healthy bone structure. So then we can plate this and have adequate union. With that much extra new bone, how old would you say this fracture is? Best guess. Oh, probably a minimum of three to four weeks. When a bone has been broken like this for that long, the muscles will contract, so right now he's trying to stretch out those muscles so that he can get those two ends of the bones to oppose so he can hook them back together. And have a rod going down the middle and then he'll put a plate on the outside. People always freak out when they see this drill. Is this the same one that you used to do some woodworking earlier today? Actually, it is of the same style, but these are actually sterilized with chemical autoclave called ethylene oxide. Well, that's good to know. So this is his plate, and he is bending it to fit the curvature of the bone. Here's that rod going down the middle of her bone and the plate on the outside and you can see those screws going into the bone. These are staples running down the side of her skin. All looks good, we're gonna wake her up now. It is two days after surgery and you can see that Danny is doing good. Come here. She actually will touch that leg down a little bit which is a really good sign that she's already trying to use it. She's not gonna show me though. Come here. Good girl, good girl, come here. Good girl. Here, you wanna go out here? Go run. Good girl. Good girl. You see she just touches her toes to the ground, so she is putting a tiny amount of weight on it, which is really a good sign. Good girl. Don't make her cry. I might cry. Don't lick it. When they break a bone, the bone will kind of slip over and override basically, and then all those muscles that are around it will contract down. So it's always a little extra painful for them because then when you put the bone back together, you have to stretch all those muscles out and they don't really want to use it. You see how painful she is. She's doing really good. Let me bend that leg all the way to 90, that's stretching out her quadriceps muscle right here, which were the main ones that really contract down. You're a good girl. So we're just doing that every day, a little bit of physical therapy, and really she's doing it on her own because she's walking around and using it. But so far, all's well. We actually got her adopted. One of my clients came in, they said that they were looking for a dog, and I said, hold on right here, I got one for you. So I showed them to her, and they said they wanted her. So I kept her for a couple days just to make sure she did okay after surgery. And she's going home with them today. And they're going to keep her and let her do all the recovery at their house. And uh, we're really pumped about that. It has been a little over two weeks since her surgery. And she's just back in for a recheck. And she'll be going back um, with uh, the people who are adopting her because she fit really well into their home. And uh, she's doing really well. We're just uh, giving you one little update on her. We have Danny back. It's been almost a month since her surgery. She's putting great weight on that leg. We are just going to remove her staples today because they've been in long enough. Still, Still wagging that tail. Yeah, and it goes in circles too. <laughs> See, there we go, now we're going in circles. 
It has been six weeks since we did Danny's surgery, and today we just did another surgery on her. We got her in and did a spay. So she was just spayed, she's just waking up now, but everything's going really well. Her leg incision is healing up very well, um, and she's putting a lot of good weight on that leg now. It has been about three months since surgery, and Danny is doing well. She is 100% healed, and we are at her new home. She has been adopted and is loving life. with her new family. They have been taking really good care of her for the last few weeks, last few months, and uh, I think she's fallen into a very good place. And they're supporting Vet Ranch by getting our t-shirts. We're so grateful for Vet Ranch and everything that they do to help all the animals that are out there that need help, and they saved Danny for us, so. And we're grateful for people like them who help us, because we couldn't do this without people who are gonna adopt all these dogs that we try to rescue from shelters. So, thank y'all and thank you for giving her such a great home and thank all of you at home for helping couldn't do it without y'all either so thanks for everything and we will see you next time